guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is the final round robin box, and I could not be more excited to share this video with you guys. Now, I will say I know it took a little bit longer than I would want to upload this video, but life is just crazy, work has been super crazy, just a lot has been going on that I haven't really had time to sit down and dedicate the time and the energy that I really wanted to talk about this box. Now, I will show you, it's not in the box, and that is because when the box arrived to me, it definitely has seen better days. Um, one of the sides was completely fallen out, so I opened it up, and after chatting with Catherine, which is where it came from, um, we compared, and there was a couple things in there that are not in the box, so they must have got lost in transit. Um, kind of bummed because there was one item in there that I really, really wanted to try, but it's okay. Anyway, so I first want to start off by thanking every single one of you who participated in my collab. It has brought so much to this incredible wax community that I love so much. Everybody who participated in my collab, whether it was the ones I reached out to in the beginning, and I will leave a list of all the original collaborators that participated down below, and as well as all of the incredible human beings who decided to participate and continue to participate with Catherine and Casey's collab. I love what this has brought to the community. I love how it showed such kindness and such caring with the community and just how much in general we can share our love for wax and the prompts were challenging. Um, they were sometimes really hard, especially Risky Week. I know that was pretty challenging for a lot of you, but thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so much and yeah, I, I just really appreciate all the incredible people who participated in this collab. I definitely was watching and I love it all so much and I'm glad that I could have helped all of us come together and share our love for wax. So without further ado, let's get into the final round robin. First thing that I grabbed out of the box is from Empire Alchemy. Now I've never tried anything from Empire Alchemy, but I'm super excited to try. And as of today, when I'm recording this video, she does have a pre-order open. It's open from March 14th through the 18th. And I did place an order because I fell in love with these blends. No, I have not melted anything yet, and I know how important it is to give a warm review, but I definitely really love these blends and love how sophisticated they are, and I did hear that Empire Alchemy does need to sit for a good while, and these say 321, so I assume, obviously since the 21st of March hasn't happened, this is just March of 2021, so they've been sitting for about a year. Correct me if I'm wrong, who, um included this. I'm not sure if it was Catherine or Casey. Um, I'm not really sure exactly who included this in there, but 321, I assume that's March 2021. But anyway, this looks like one of her Empire bags, and this is in Spa Strawberry. Now, at first, I read the notes, and I'm like, mm. so it's fresh strawberry, lemon zest, lemongrass, patchouli, and green leaves. And it's the patchouli that really scared me. But, oh, this is so pretty. To me, and I was talking to a friend about this, it almost smells like the true strawberry plant. And that patchouli and the green leaves with the lemongrass kind of brings out the earthiness of a strawberry. Oh, this is so pretty. I cannot wait to melt this. And this bag looks like it'll be enough for all of my warmers and then a little bit of extra, so cannot wait to melt that. Next, we have from Waxy Taffy, this is Summer Scoop. Now, this says, enjoy memories of creamy homemade strawberry ice cream on a hot summer day. And this is a Yankee Candle type. I also have never ordered from Waxy Taffy, but this, oh, I love Summer Scoop. And this is like her brittle. So it's pretty thin. I'll probably, I'll probably put like one piece, maybe, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to mess around with it and my warmers to see, but this looks like it will be enough for like one warming cycle with all my warmers, but oh yeah. Summer Scoop is just such a great, great scent. It's like a very creamy strawberry ice cream, and I actually, with the Melted Mousse, have a custom, I haven't gotten called yet, but I do have a custom with the Melted Mousse that has Summer Scoop in it. 
from L3. This guy's a little banged up, but this is a Bitty Betty Loaf in cotton candy, black sea, and pink sugar. I'm not exactly sure what black sea is. And this is interesting. I definitely smell pink sugar and cotton candy. Like a super sweet pink candy-like scent. With a little bit of like earthiness and saltiness. Which I assume is the Black Sea. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I have not tried Black Sea. So I'm not really sure exactly what that is. Next we have from L3. This looks like one and a half bunts. This is in Christmas PJs. And this is Downy, Sugar Cookies, and Blue Spruce. Now, I'm not a huge fan of spruce scents. But... I smell sugar cookie. I thought I would smell downy right off the bat, but I definitely smell sugar cookie. It's almost like a, a really rich, deep sugar cookie. And honestly, like, I'm not getting much downy or blue spruce. And this was poured in, well, this arrived on January 15th, 2021. So this has over a year, yeah, over a year of cure time. So I want to pop that in the warmers. Also from L3, this looks like one of her cloud cakes, or is this a chunk? It might be a chunk, I think. And this is Peaches Don't Cross Streams and Rose Petal Gelato. I love Rose Jam, and I love Peaches. And Don't Cross Streams is like a vanilla scent. Honestly, I'm just getting like a vanilla peach. I'm not really getting any of that Rose Jam, which is okay. I'm sure it'll come out on warm, so really enjoy that. Next we have from Empire Alchemy, this is Favorite Crush, and this looks like a two-pack of her waffles. And this is Fresh Squeezed Oranges, Olive Branch Type, and Wild Madagascar Vanilla. Now this is different. Now I will say Olive Branch is a Yankee, or is a, a Lush Type, it's like a shower gel. But I'm not really smelling that in here. I'm definitely smelling Fresh Squeezed Oranges. And as far as Wild Madagascar Vanilla, mm, I'm mainly getting like a creamy orange juice scent. Yeah, it's pretty though. And I think I'll cut the waffles in half so I'll have this in four melts. Really excited, like I said. I think the highlight of this box was um, Empire Alchemy and getting to try them. Another Empire Alchemy is Squeaky Clean. And this is Watery Accord Salt Seaweed and Apple Blossom. And this is a two pack of her donuts. And this is poured on, or arrived on, also 321. And this is nice. This is definitely like apple blossom and clean sea salty. Yeah. Really nice. Really excited. This will be a really good bathroom scent. And I'll probably get multiple melts out of that one. Next is from L3. And this is Malva Pudding Cupcake Mallow Fluff. And it's like a Bitty Betty Loaf. I'm not getting much from this, but like a, kind of like a burnt sugar smell, almost like, like a creme brulee, like the top of a creme brulee that's been like that crystallized sugar. That's all I'm really getting from it, so not really sure. This was also arrived August of 21, so definitely want to pop that in the warmers. This guy is Cinnamon Broom from the Melted Mousse. It was actually original. I put this in the box. I'm not a fan of it. It just smells like like uh, that cinnamon from uh, craft stores. Next from L3, this is like one of her souffles. It's like really flat. I've never seen this shape before. And it is just in plain old brown sugar. And when I smell it, I'm like, it doesn't really smell like much. Yeah, but it does smell like brown sugar, like straight up brown sugar. Like whenever you compact it in the measuring cup and then you pour it out and it's like still in a cylinder, that's exactly what it smells like, like brown sugar. Not super strong. This one is patisserie, and this, I'm not really sure exactly what the patisserie note is. This is also very, very light. I'm not getting much from it, so I want to pop that in the warmers ASAP. Next is Kay's Monkey Bread, and I actually have heard a lot of people being like, I cannot wait to see what you think of this one. It's very cinnamon. Like, a, it does smell, it does smell like a cinnamon bread. Like, I can see where the monkey bread comes into play. But it's definitely way more cinnamon than I, than I prefer. Well, more from Empire Alchemy. I'm actually going to loop these two into one because they both smell 
exactly what they should. This is black raspberry type, and it smells just like black raspberry vanilla from Scentsy. And this is Gain type, which it smells just like Gain laundry. So these two hearts, I'll put those in my bathroom warmers, and it'll be perfect. There's a little yellow heart. It doesn't have a label or anything on it, so I'm not really sure what it is or what it's from. And it doesn't really smell like anything, so I'm not exactly sure what that is. Another set shot, this is from Ella After Wax Company, and I believe this is the vendor that Catherine really likes from Canada. And this is Mrs. Cratchit, which is Love Spell and Vanilla Mint. I smell Love Spell for sure. Vanilla Mint, maybe just a little bit, like a creamy mint. But I'm getting mainly Love Spell. This guy is from Southbound, and this is Vanilla Birch, which is like the Vanilla Birch type. It smells just like it, like that really fresh, outdoorsy vanilla. It's a yummy one. This one, I'm not a fan of. This is from Bodies Harmony, I believe. It's really small print. It says, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And this is White Birch, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Marshmallows. Not a fan of this one. Mm -mm. I, I, I don't know if it's like the white birch mixed with a strawberry pound cake, but it's like very overwhelming. Next is from Silky's Soaps. N never heard of them. And this is Gummy Bear Slushy Lemonade Fizzy Pop. Looks like a chunk. I believe this came from Casey. And this is really nice. I will say it smells mainly like Fizzy Pop. Like straight up fizzy, super citrusy. Not getting much gummy bear slushy lemonade. Not really sure exactly what that would be, but it just smells really fizzy pop forward. A couple from Teddy Bees, which I'm super excited about. Love me some Teddy Bees. This is Buffalo Check, and this is Sweet Cranberries, Fresh Pumpkin, Red Apples, and White Clouds. And this has the pour date on the front. This was poured on 10 21, 21 so that's from the last pre-order. Three little chunks. I love this. It's a very bright cranberry, is how I describe it. Not super tart. The vanilla creams it up, but it's a very bright, uplifting cranberry. Really excited about this one. Love Teddy Bees. Another Teddy Bees is Snow Covered Orchard. Has that same pour date, and this is Sparkling Snow, Whipped Vanilla, Apples, Pears, and Plums. I might actually pop this in my warmers tonight, because I love... I love this. It's a very, like, cold. Like, it captures the essence of cold. I smell the pears. I smell the plum. A little bit fruity. The pear, you know whenever you bite into a really good pear, not like a cheap grocery store pear, like the Harry and David pears that are like the gold foil wrapped? It smells like that. Oh, really, really delightful. Excited to try that one. Next, this is from Salem Soy Company, and this is called Welcome to Salem, and this is Sweater Weather, I Smell Fall, and Leaves. It just looks like a little bar. I smell leaves type. I'm not sure what her I Smell Fall is, but I know what Sweater Weather is. And I might get like a touch of Sweater Weather, that like junipery berry type of scent. But I mainly get like uh, the leaves type, mixed with like a tiny bit of sweater weather. That's a good one. This is a fun little long clam from Wit and Wax Subscription, I think is the brand. Wit, Wit and Wax? Not sure. And this is Under the Sea. This is Sparkling Prosecco, Saltwater Taffy, Crashing Ocean Waves, and a Hint of Clove. Yeah, I'm not really getting much from this at all, but like a very light plastic scent. Could be from the clam. This is from Salt Mountain Melts. I've had this before. This is Rocky Mountain Christmas. Fresh balsam, sugar cookies, and buttercream. I think this is the one that I think has like fresh cut grass in it. Mm. Unless it's been curing, because it is cured for a long time. This is the same batch that I had, but it, it reminds me of like vanilla balsam from um, Bath and Body Works. I like it. I'll put this away for Christmas. So that'll also give me an idea of how long Salt Mountain lasts, because this was poured on 1027. So by the time I use it in December of next year, it'll have over a year of cure time. So excited to try that. This is from Rose Girls. I also, I believe I put this in the box. This is 100 Acre Wood, 
chestnuts, sandalwood, marshmallow, fireside, and vanilla. This is like just like a smoky chestnutty scent. From Lurid, this is Circus Peanuts, and it's like one little piece of a brittle. This bag is super thick. Let me see if I can pull the wax out, because it doesn't smell like much, but the bag doesn't have a super big opening. I'm kind of getting a slight peanut butter note. Is that just me? Because, like, when I picture circus peanuts, they're like those plasticky orange, like, type of candies. I don't like to eat them, but... It kind of, like I said, it kind of smells like a very light peanut butter scent. I'll have to pop this in my bathroom. Also from Lurid is Elvira. I'm not exactly sure what this one is. Oh, these bags are so thick. I love it. Yeah, I'm not getting much from these in the bags. Is this like an apple cider? I'm kind of getting like a spiced apple note. Not exactly sure. I'll have to look up the descriptions on these. But, I'm, I mean, there's a lot in this bag. From BZ Tarts, this also got passed around quite a bit. And it's in a bag because the lead rip, and this is grapefruit zest. I already smelled this. I do not like it. Ooh. That grapefruit is so strong in there. Not a fan. From Destination Wax, a little two-ounce scent shot in Apple Blossom. Love this. So pretty, just a bright, like, body care apple scent. A couple from That Smell Good shop, and I'll be honest, all three of these are fragrances I do not care for. The first one is Gadzooks, and it's Sweet Red Cherries and Zucchini Bread. I'm not a fan of cherry, so I don't like that one. Nog Champa, I don't like Nog Champa in any form. And I did smell these again, but I really don't care for them, so I'm not going to smell them again. This is Karma. Also don't love this. This is Patchouli and Orange. So all of those are scents I don't care for. This is a little souffle cup from um, Ella After. And this is in Lucy. Strawberry rhubarb, hot apple pie, and frosted cookies. I'm not getting a ton from this. Yeah, I'm only getting like, like, it's like a Mac apple with a hint of spice and a, a, a touch of strawberry. So kind of like a, like an apple spice with a little bit of strawberry. I'm not getting any frosted cookie. Um, this was poured on February 18th, so it's only been about a month of cure time. From Destination Wax, I have Lime Sugar, and this is Soft Lime, Anise, Hazelnut, Sugar, Musk, and Rose. Similar to Pink Sugar, but with Lime instead of Raspberry. This is good. I, I, I don't really get the connotation between Pink Sugar, like how it's related, because this kind of just smells like a lime, like a lime zest almost. So I'm excited to try it. I love Destination Wax. I have a few little duckies from um, Hayden Row. The first is Chiffon Sheets, and I believe it was Ashley Overly. Ashley, if you're watching this, hello, and comment below. I think this you just talked about in your Hayden Row week that you really loved. And I can see why. It's a very, very clean laundry. So these little duckies are perfect for the bathroom. This one is Africa. I know this is one of her popular fragrances. No idea what the notes are, though. It kind of smells like a musky jasmine. Like a very deep musky jasmine is like kind of what I get from it. I'm trying to go faster. I have so much here. This is Fresh Air. Yeah, and this smells very much like, like that, like kind of like, what is that, Febreze Fresh Air spray? Like that, like kind of like a very, very clean, like room spray. Excited for that. This one, this guy, it seems like the wax is really soft. And this is from 804 Essentials. I've never heard of them. And this is Polynesian Pineapple Cake Batter Ice Cream. Or is it Polynesian Pineapple Cake Batter Ice Cream and Cotton Candy? I love pineapple. I will say most pineapples, when I smell it, like, boom in your face. But this is a very mellow pineapple. It's like a pineapple cake, 
where it's almost like you took like a big yellow cake and you put a little bit of pineapple juice in it or like pineapple chunks. Not super overpowering on the pineapple, which I like. This is from L3. This is a little um, cloud cake. And this is in banana bread coffee bean. I love me some banana. I'm not sure about this with a coffee bean oil. I think that's the note from L3. I don't love coffee wise. Yeah. It's like a it's like a fresh banana bread, but like a hint of warm coffee. We'll see. I want to do all the clams last. From the bathing garden, it is like it looks like two little pieces in cemetery keys. Not sure what the notes on this one are. Mmm. Wait a minute. This smells like um. This smells like Calacas from Lush. Yep, that's exactly what this smells like. Let me know down below, is Cemetery Keys Calacas from Lush? Because that's what it smells like, which is like a very sugary lime. I love that scent. That's exactly what that smells like. I have a little scent shot here from Sassy Girl Aroma in Summer Blossom. Pop this guy out here. This is nice. This smells like a, like, like an apple blossom. Like a very fresh apple blossom. Oh, love that. Love Sassy Girl Aroma. Excited to, excited to melt that one. From Ella After, this is Kayo Coco, I think. C-A-Y-O, Kayo Coco. Pink Sugar Cashmere and Flip Flops. This, this reminds me a little bit of Soft Blanket from Yankee Candle. If you remember that scent, it's a very creamy, soft laundry. That's what this smells like. So excited to melt that. From Tea Time Tarts, I have a few here from Tea Time Tarts. Let me actually gather them all together. Okay. So this is Smokey the Bear, Palo Santo, Black Sugar, and Cracklin Birch. I've never tried Black Sugar on its own, but I love Palo Santo and Cracklin Birch. I've grown to really like. And this is nice. I smell the Cracklin Birch for sure first. That really woodsy, fresh, earthy. Yeah. The Palo Santo is more like perfumey Palo Santo instead of super woody. I'm excited to try it. I've heard a lot about Tea Time Tart, so we'll see. This one is Black Hearts. It's two little bunts. And this is Black Sugar, Creamy Vanilla Musk, Marshmallow, and Warm Amber. It's interesting. This smells very marshmallowy. Like, very sticky, gooey, toasty marshmallow. I'm not getting much, like, black sugar. Well, I don't really know exactly what black sugar smells like. But the amber kind of makes this, like, a body care marshmallow. It's good. This one is Christmas in the Country, and it says a secret house blend. So, no idea what that is. Now, this is so strange. It kind of smells like a Christmas tree with a hint of, like, popcorn. I don't know if that's just me or what, but it kind of smells like Christmas Christmas trees with a hint of popcorn. Maybe I'm going crazy. And the one that I dropped was also from Tea Time Tarts, Spring Love. Vanilla Lace, Salty Sea Air, Bergamot, Amber Woods, Musk, and Beachside Blanket. This reminds me of Beach Nights for sure. It's kind of like Beach Nights with Creamy, creamy vanilla. I like that one. I'm really excited to melt this one. This is definitely going to be a bathroom melt this week. All right, so a little bit of randoms. I have a little scent shop from Teddy Bee's in Nude Beach. Never tried this one. Really like this one. This also smells like Beach Nights. I'm not sure what, exactly what it's mixed with, but it definitely smells like Beach Nights. Excited for that. This is a little heart sample from L3 in Witches of Eastwick. No idea what this one is. Hmm. Is this cherry something? I don't know what this is. Something cookie. It smells like something with a cookie. I don't know. From Broadway Wax, like a little snappy bar. And this is in Moses Supposes. And this is blue sugar, black sugar, and shave and a haircut. This is a very, very masculine scent. 
I have to be in a really certain mood for this one in my bathroom. Yeah, it definitely smells like cologne but definitely like a shaving cream cologne. Interesting. All right, now I have a stack of clams. The first one is Heart and Home Candle, and it is banana nut bread. I love banana nut bread. It's exactly what it smells like. Straight up banana nut bread. From Super Tarts, we have a few. This one is Annabelle, and this is brown sugar, pecan pie, blackberry, and marshmallow fluff. And this is yummy. I love this. Pecan pie, blackberry, oh, so good. Yeah, like a blackberry pecan pie, really yummy. This one is Monster House, and this is interesting. This is apple cinnamon cobbler, sweet potato souffle, butter pecan, and peach. Now, this is strange. Definitely the peach comes out like at the end. It smells like an apple cinnamon blend which is like a hint of peach, which I guess isn't too weird because you typically can find like apple peach like in a pie together. So we'll try it. And then last super tarts is Sophia and this is pear gelato and blackberry jam. This one's like super cracked. I love this. I love, I love blackberry jam mixed with pear gelato, really fresh and fruity. One from Kay's banana flambe. You know me, I love bananas foster. And that's exactly what this smells like, like Bananas Foster. Oh, love this. Love, love, love. It's a very buttery, rich, gooey banana scent. From Wicked Essence, this is Cozy Cuppa Cranberry. And this is Spiced Cranberry, Orange, Juniper, Spices, and Vanilla Sandalwood. I don't like this. It's like cinnamony, orange, cranberry. No. And then last but not least is Juliet from The Bathing Garden. I do already have this, and I love this. This is a very bright, rosy scent, which makes me super happy. Yep, love. Like a very bright, rosy scent. And I actually think all my Bathing Garden from Valentine's Day is put away, but since this was in the round robin, no harm, no foul, I'm going to pop this in my warmers and try it out. Get my view on like The Bathing Garden and see if it really does need a year. That was a lot of wax, you guys. So thank you again so much for watching my video. Again, thank you so much, Catherine, and everybody who participated in this collaboration, but especially Catherine, who shipped me the box last. Really excited to get to melting this. I think I'm actually going to have a round robin melting week. Let me know down below if you would love that. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And my favorite part, be kind, spread love, all that. You matter, and please make it a better world. Bye, guys.